This is a case of a patient with a very severe heart failure, implanted with a dual lead ICD. He was hospitalized because he had received an electrical shock. You can see on the tracing that there is real ventricular tachycardia. The ventricular rate is faster than the atrial rate. But the problem is that every QRS complex is sensed twice by the device. So this corresponds to R-wave double counting. One of each two cycles is unbinned because the current interval is slow but the average value corresponds to a tachyzone. The second one is classified F, so the VF zone because the current interval is fast and the average value also corresponds to a tachyzone. So from this there is a progressive increment of the VF counter. Here the VF counter is filled and then starts the charge of the capacitors. So at the end of the charge a shock will be delivered with a termination of the arrhythmia and then a diagnosis of return to sinus rhythm. Double counting of the QRS can be considered as an exceptional finding in the most recent ICDs. However, in patients with marked ventricular conduction delay and broad QRS complexes, the sensed EGM duration may exceed the ventricular blanking period and the device may detect one event twice like in this example. If you change the sweep speed to 50 millimeters per second then you can see that the interval here between the two sensed signals is 125 milliseconds, the exact value of the programmed refractory postventricular sensing period. So R-wave double counting can be observed during normal sinus rhythm in patients with important bundle branch block and wide cure restoration. And we may observe it, like in this example, during an episode of ventricular tachycardia. In particular, during an episode of slow ventricular tachycardia that are frequently associated with very wide cure restoration. In this case, the parameter that you can reprogram is the post ventricular sense refractory period which by default is 125 and you have the possibility to prolong this refractory period to 157 milliseconds at the price of a limited risk of undersensing ventricular fibrillation. Once more the rate of inappropriate therapies in case of R-wave double counting will be reduced with the algorithm secure sense since now the oversensing must occur at the same time both in the discrimination channel and in the bipolar channel.